Hello, welcome to my channel once again. In today's math tutorial, we are going to be solving two different quadratic equations by using the method of completing of squares. Perhaps you're yet to subscribe to my channel. Please do so right now and click on the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any updates from this channel. Make sure you comment on all of our videos as it helps us to know what you want and how to serve you better. Over to the first quadratic equation. The first equation is x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals to 0. Now clearly this does not factor, which is the whole essence of completing the square method. If you want to see my video on the method of factoring for solving quadratic functions, check the link in the comments section. Now I'm going to bring you the solution in steps. The first step we need to add 2 to both sides, thus ensuring that only x squared minus 4x remain on the left hand side. And adding 2 to both sides leaves us with x squared minus 4x on the left and on the right a positive 2. And since the coefficient of x squared is 1, the next step we should be to divide through by the leading coefficient is going to be skipped. We're going to see what we do about that in the second problem. The third step here will be to add the square of half of the coefficient of x to both sides. Doing that, we make the left hand side to become a perfect square trinomial, which can easily be factored out. If you want to see a video on how to determine what to add to make such an expression a perfect square trinomial, check the link in the comment section. So here we are going to have x squared minus 4x, then we will be adding to both sides but to the left hand side first, half of the coefficient of x, negative 4, and we square it. The same is added to the right hand side so as to create a balance. Then this gives x squared minus 4x plus the square of negative 2. And on the right, we have the sum of 2 and the square of negative 2. Now, the left hand side factors as x minus 2 squared. Check the comment section to see my tutorial on how to factor perfect square trinomial. The right hand side is 6. The square of negative 2 is 4 and 4 added to 2 is 6. The next step we need to take the square root of both sides. Taking the square root of the left we give x minus 2 and the square root of the right will be plus or minus root 6. Then we add 2 to both sides since we have to solve for x. x is 2 plus or minus square root of 6. That is x could be 2 minus root 6 or x is 2 plus root 6. These are the roots of this quadratic equation. However, we can actually also supply the value of root 6 if we are to leave the answer as a decimal number. Root 6 is about 2.45 to three significant figures and if we plug in 2.45 for root 6, 
then x could be negative 0 0.45 for the first root, that's 2 minus root 6, or x could be 4.45 for the other root. Do not leave the channel yet as I walk you through the second example. The second one is 5x squared plus 8x plus 6 equals to 0. So the very first step is to subtract 6 from both sides, leaving us with 5x squared plus 8x equals to negative 6. Then we divide through by 5, the leading coefficient, which means we have x squared. The aim of that is to make sure that the leading coefficient is 1 plus 8 over 5x, and that's equal to negative 6 over 5. Step 3, add the square of half of the coefficient of x to both sides, which means we have x squared plus 8 over 5x on the left, and to that we had half of 8 over 5 we square it and on the right we have negative 6 over 5 to it also we had half of 8 over 5 squared this becomes x squared plus 8 over 5x plus 4 over 5 as half of 8 over 5 squared and on the right hand side negative 6 over 5 added to the square of 4 over 5. The left hand side is now a perfect square trinomial which factors as x plus 4 over 5 squared. The right hand side, negative 6 over 5 plus 16 over 25 when we take the square of 4 over 5. Simplifying further, x plus 4 over 5 squared is equal to negative 30 plus 16 over 25. Still simplifying, we have x plus 4 over 5 squared, and that's equal to negative 14 over 25. Then we take the square root of both sides leaving us with x plus 4 over 5 on the left and on the right we have plus or minus the square root of negative 14 over 25. Then we are going to be subtracting 4 over 5 from both sides so that x is negative 4 over 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 14 while the square root of the denominator 25 is 5. The fractions on the right combine to give negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 14 over 5 so that the roots of the quadratic equation are x equals to negative 4 minus the square root of negative 14 over 5 or x is minus 4 plus the square root of negative 14 over 5. 
The square root of negative 14 is an imaginary number that can be represented using the imaginary i so that the solution eventually or the roots of the quadratic equation are negative 4 minus i root 14 over 5 or its conjugate x equals to negative 4 plus i root 14 over 5. Now this is where we leave the solution so that it doesn't look cumbersome. And I believe you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment and share the video. You can also send in your questions and recommendations to the comment section. It helps us to know what you want. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching the video. So see you in the next video. Bye.